progress. Welcome to our Simple Truth Hour. My name is Pastor Samuel Somwasanti, and we go into the Word of God, which teaches us, corrects, rebukes, and instructs us in the way of righteousness, so that the child of God will be perfect, truly furnished unto every good work. Our topic for today is Absolute Humility, Part 2. Our key scripture, John chapter 8, verse 26. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak the world to the world those things which I have heard of him. We learn from our previous study that our Lord Jesus was absolutely dedicated to the Father in perfect humility. Humility led him to experience the most humiliating moment of his life on earth, yet he sent him to the highest height of glory. The Bible said because of what he did, God likewise has given him a name which is above every name, that at the mention of his name, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, the glory of God the Father. What is in humility that endears so much of God's approval and exaltation of the humble man? Humility is the practical way of declaring that God is God and that you are totally surrounded and submitted to him. Humility is also a form of giving worship unto God. Worship has the idea in Hebrew to bow down or to prostrate before the Father, and humility does so. This is what attracts the Lord to God to arise to show his approval for such a person. Pride is not just an isolated action of an individual or something that is remote from God, but a direct rebellion against the very throne of God. Pride refuses to place God at his place in life. God opposes the proud with the greatest fury and an outright dislike. All men, whether religious or not, are dependent on God and therefore are accountable to him. It is only to your advantage to be humble and receive God's full approval and blessings. The question about who is fitting to be used of God is rooted in whether the person is truly humble or not. God uses only humble vessels. In God's eyes, the humble man is the one who trembles at his word. Humility as a way of submission to God also shows dependence on God. Humility gives faith in God the grounds or right to stay in the heart of an individual. Faith is the decision of an individual to accept or yield to the word. That act of yielding to God is humility. Humility is simply one's positive disposition towards God. Humility has nothing to do with whether a person is an introvert or an extrovert. It's all about how prepared one is ready to yield to God, irrespective of the cost, danger, or rewards. God also cherishes dearly a man with a humble heart. He will always lift such a person into significance or make special provisions available to him. A humble attitude towards men is always as a result of true humility towards God. A man who is not humble towards God cannot be humble towards his fellow men. Prayer. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit. Fill my heart with a great sense of submission and fear for thee. Help me to act always with one motive, that is to please you and you alone. Um, and now thought, it appears foolish to act humbly, yet you will stand out glorified in the end. It appears foolish to act humbly, yet you will stand out glorified in the end. Further studies. Proverbs 15, 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Proverbs 22, 4. By humility and the fear of God are riches and honor and life. 
by humility and the fear of God, our riches, honor, and life. Amen.